Blipcom are voting for their Blip TV. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, spawning right here in the east of the Metropolis. We've got TT1 in the green trunks playing Protoss versus his opponent, the one and only EG Machine in the pink trunks playing Zerg. Machine. I freaking love this guy. I'm sorry, I do. Every game I've cast of Machine, Machine has been literally a machine. It's such an appropriate name for him. This guy just will not stop. He is insatiable. He's aggressive. He is precise. He's thorough. He's absolutely wonderful, as of course are every player on his amazing team, the one and only evil genius. God, you will not mess with any of those. You know, if there was a StarCraft equivalent of a dark alley, it would be the one that I would try and avoid at every possible opportunity. Seriously, I could bring friends with me. I'd still not go down that dark alley. I don't want to be anywhere close to the EG guys. They are devastating, dangerous, and lethal. Now the question is, can TT1 recover from the 2-0 loss thus far, or will he succumb once again to the might of the machine? He's going to rage against the machine, perhaps. Certainly a possibility. Lame puns and lame references are required as part of the school of casting, by the way. If you're not being to the school of casting, that's simply the way that it goes. That's what they teach you in order to do. TT1 looks to try and harass and stop EG machines. Fast expansion is going to do a little bit of a dance, perhaps the foxtrot we might see. Unfortunately not. Look at a uh, slide at the minimal line right there. Look a bit of scouting and uh, doesn't quite have the minerals for it right now. Decides to go with spawning pool before his expansion instead of the other way around. Fairly reasonable uh, plan. TT1, what have you got coming up for us? Nothing at the moment. Interesting. Hasn't built a gateway. Looking maybe to build a nexus. Dumps a pylon down. There we go. Blocks his way in right there. But what's he got to follow that up with? More to the <laughs> there you go. Forge on its way, folks. Looking for the cannon rush strategy. Can it work? It might, if it's executed properly, certainly. He's not going to be able to grab that fast expansion for the time being, so at least he's dictating the pace of the game for the moment. Forge right at the bottom of that ramp right there. Has it been scouted? Yes, it has. EG Machine is aware of its presence. The question is, what is he going to do in response to that? Four Zerglings already on the way. If he's going to do anything with cannons, he better do it soon, because otherwise he's not going to be able to place anything. Slides across the mineral line of EG Machine, looks to see what he can see, which is absolutely nothing. Building not an awful lot right now. He's sitting on a ton of minerals. Cannon on its way up. There you go. Places it down at the ace base. Looks like he's going into fast expansion instead. There you go. Forge fast expand for TT1. Not bothering to apply pressure initially. Again, he couldn't. He didn't really have the option, didn't have the time, couldn't do that. And Machine already on the way with his first wave of Zerglings. And his expansion is on its way as well. Gateway at the front. Photon Cannon to back it up. Good Star Wars defense there of that fast expansion. Shouldn't have too much of a problem dealing with that. I'd be more concerned about what Machine decides to do. Splits up all of his Zerglings, sends them to parts of the map to discover delicious treasure. It's a possibility. You never know. They might have some kind of map. You wouldn't know that because you can't read Zerg. No, you can't, can you? See, you thought you were smart. Absolutely not. The question is, what will they find? Well, they find not one, but two Zelnaga watchtowers. But good visibility. Unfortunately, TT1's attempt to delay that fast expansion didn't last an awful lot of time. So I've got to wonder what he's going to do in response to that. Nexus on its way. More pylons on the way as well. His opponent with another hatchery. There we go. Almost finished. Cybernetics go on the way for TT1 as well. No aggression coming in from either side for the time being. TT1 pulls his probes off the line, splits them down there. Yeah, a little bit of mining going on. You know what I have to wonder about this map? You probably can't hear this on the audio. It depends how the audio is set up. But why exactly do you hear cars in the background? I and mean, for one thing, who the hell would be commuting in the middle of this? Suicidal. Well, you know what? I've just got to get to work for that very important presentation. What do you mean the Zerg all over the place? That's going to be incredibly inconvenient. My boss will not be happy. Oh, come off it, really? You know, this map's got a whole bunch of different things. Like this cafe right here. Why is there a cafe here? Who the hell's going to go there? The Protoss don't even have mouths. They can't eat. Oh, dear. I'll tell you for a fact, the Zerg aren't really interested in the hors d'oeuvres. Metabolic boost coming up right here. 20 Zerglings for Machine. Machine's like, well, I have this great strategy. It's called Build Zerglings. I wonder if TT1 will be able to respond to that. Right now, looking fairly unlikely. He's going to need an awful lot more than that to repulse. 
Wow, yeah. 30 Zerglings up already. Four on the way. Metabolic boost. Perhaps looking for that elusive timing push. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. It's looking likely right now, though. He's uh, get at the front. He's ready to go. They're on the starting blocks. Charging their way off of the creep. Slightly hobbled by it, unfortunately. You know, Zerglings really do need winter tires. It would help an awful lot. Here's the problem. What the hell is TT1 going to do against a force of that size when all he has is a single Zealot and a single Sentry plus a cannon? In short, not too much. TG1 looks for... No, there you go! That was perfect timing right there. And the split's not going to help. No, absolutely not. Force field's going down. Trying desperate defense, unfortunately. TT1 heavily outnumbered. Zergler's devastating the economic line of TT1. And what's he going to do? He's built a great setup right here to repulse Zergling harassment. And he's looking to try and choke him. Choke him right into this little bit right here. Bit of... Crazy 300 stuff going on. Unfortunately, now disabled all of that base. That base is destroyed. No question about that. Whoops, additional reinforcements right here. Ground weapon upgrade coming up. Not going to be enough, unfortunately. Zealot taken apart. He's got one more. He's got the sentry as well. Trying to push him away as much as he can with the probe. Good game.